Mr. Shine. Mr. Shine. Mr. Shine. Mr. Shine. Hello, hello, it's Mr. Shine, 8 and 2 with the Rogue deck. We will continue. We're cruising. Cruising along. Ever since 4 and 2. Won 4 in a row. We'll see if we've met our match, though. I feel like the RNG Jesus has been very kind to me. Just in terms of getting some answers when I need them. And I've been able to make I think, good plays with them, but... You know, and I'll go bad. And I'll go bad against an aggressive hunter. I think I keep it. I don't have that many good fours in this deck. I can always coin out. Well, if I really wanted to. And of course, this is an interesting play. Would I? No. No, I would rather have the option to coin out a 4 instead of coin out a 2. And I have the option here, if he plays like a 2-2 two -two or something, I could play the Sun Fury. I like that. I think I just kill it. Take a free card. Now probably coin out Senjin. Ogre Magi has some use because I have those two backstabs in this deck. But I will still play it, certainly. We go on. Well that is certainly a time where I will test. Alright, so maybe it's Snipe. Or it's Freezing Trap or Misdirection. Either way, it's a good time to put out Sendin. Yep. So I've eaten two cards of his, basically, at this point. That's nice. One is his Leper Gnome, and then his Snipe. So he's at a real rough start. Which means that at this point in the game, almost assuredly he has to have like a high main in his hand or something. Something that's really scary. Oh, that's nice. Bring this to three. I think that is probably... Well, no. I will bring one of these out now because it will live. And then next turn I can use five mana. I have more options. Yeah, that's fine. I'm waiting for the hammer to drop. I guess you could also have combos. Oh, the combos. Alright, that's alright. And if I would have healed that anyways, it wouldn't have mattered. So at this point now, I think I will keep this just because I there's a chance I will drop my Archmage next turn. And if not, then that would at least save me this thing will buff this, so it'll save me a charge of my perditions. I guess he get deadly shot too. Maybe he just has a bunch of control. Oh, I'm happy I didn't do that. So here's the question. Actually it worth me Sun Furying this and then kill that traditions. I wonder. Or would I instead just kill this card? What is better here? Protecting this or not? That's kind of what I'm thinking about. Or getting a little bit more value in this turn. I wonder. I think I think protecting this, although getting an ogre out is so good. Getting an ogre out is... He doesn't have a Savannah Hymen, though, does he? Which is peculiar. If I do this, at least that 
Maybe I should be happy with a two for one and bring out an ogre. Bringing out an ogre is so strong. And this also survives in case he he does some sort of buff shenanigans. Sad not to get a lot of good value with Spiteful Smith, but I think just being just getting some solid minions out is probably better here. And the things that cost mana because my hand will get gunked up too quickly then otherwise. And I can heal it. Man, this guy. So much card draw. This hunter. Like he's compelled to probably trade this. If there's another multi shot, that would be really good. He'd be able to kill my ogre. Almost makes me feel like maybe Archimage would have been better. Ogre, so good. Well, he doesn't have a multi shot because he would have used it already. I wonder if he has combo wombo stuff and he's contemplating is it worth bringing out? Whoa. Whoa. From my face? He does have combo wombo stuff. I would love a blade flurry right about now. Clever girl! Hmm. <laughs> I almost wonder now if healing myself is going to be better here. No, probably this. Probably this to kill that. Or do I heal this? Bring the combo. Kill this with my perditions. Kill one of these. That's better. I do think. I don't think I need to do too much else right here. I'm going to eat a little bit of damage. I'm going to kill that right now given the situation. I will kill one of those. I don't want to take that extra six though, I will say that. Here we go. It is probably I think I can live with one extra damage right now. As opposed to giving it to my minions. I do have these taunts, which would be real nice. I turn eight, Archmage. Do not kill what I have on the board. Oh, that's it. There is the Savannah. That Blade Flurry will be real good here. In fact, freezing trap. Is there any reason to be freezing trap? I think I kill this and blade flurry. Do those two probably. Okay. Probably best. Now, in terms of positioning, I'll probably do this to avoid a good explosive. I need to get damage on him too here. That's partly why this is gonna be nice. Are you ready for this? Oh, well, it's kind of yeah. I guess I realized a little bit of a mistake. Of Maybe it's misdirection. Not. Nah. Driver's seat here, got some tauntage if I need to. Alright. Top deck time. Okay. What do I have that I would want to ignore? Because I mean, right now I could trade both these, have them at five. Bring this out. You bring these out. Give him the face. 
I guess I could trade both these in here. That is, it's probably still worth killing this, just to avoid any sort of beast shenanigans. I don't want to take the damage, though. Although, if I do take the damage, no, he could draw a draw another one of the um, kill commands and then ping me. So if I were to... I think these two things will probably be... Actually, this is probably even better, just to avoid any sort of craziness. Shields up. Even a mind control tech shouldn't matter here. What? Well All right, we win. Excellent. Ooh, a little scary there. A little scary. It's like he had all the combo pieces except for unleashing the hounds. And we are on to nine. Well, well, well. Thank you, Mr. Rogue. Or Mrs. Rogue, excuse me. Miss Rogue? Madam? Is Valyria married? I don't know. You should let me know. Anyways, alright. Well, I've been Mr. Shine, and I will see you guys next time.